Hi everybody, my name is Lori and welcome to The Icing Artist. So this week I'm so excited. I'm going to be working with Gretchen over at Woodland Bakery and we're going to be doing a baby shower kind of themed collaboration for you. So she's going to show you guys how to make a gender reveal cake and then I'm going to show you guys how to make a kind of baby princess baby shower cake. So this will be her video. So Gretchen's done up this fabulous gender reveal cake. So she's going to show you guys how to make this entire thing start to finish and how to dye the inside for the gender you want to reveal and to do a nice filling and everything. So you're definitely going to want to watch her video to see how she made it and for her recipes. I'm having a girl! <laughs> So when you guys are done watching this video, don't forget to head on over to Woodland Bakery and watch her gender reveal cake. So let's get started and make that little pillow cake with that beautiful little cake chopper on top. Okay guys, so before we make the cake, we're actually going to make the little chopper. Now the little baby is made of gum paste and fondant, and I'm going to show you guys how to make her. And we're going to make her a couple days ahead of time so she has time to dry before we put her on the cake. So to make skin tone fondant, you want to mix together white fondant, yellow fondant, and pink fondant. And you just want to add little bits at a time. If you notice it's a little bit too yellow, you can add more pink and vice versa. And this is what it's going to look like when it's all incorporated. I'm going to add some Tylos powder and that's going to turn my fondant into gum paste and that's just going to stiffen it up. I'm going to use this baby mold I have. I will leave a link in my description below where you can buy the mold. I've just dusted it with some icing sugar. I'm going to trim off the excess and then pop it in my freezer for about 10 minutes to harden up. Once it comes out of your freezer, you just want to slightly ply away at the edges and it should pop out just like this. I'm going to use a paintbrush and just dust off some of that excess icing sugar I had on it. Now for my baby's headband, I'm using these flower plunge cutters, rolling up my fondant really, really thin. And I'm going to cut out all the different flower shapes, one large, one medium, and two small. Again, I will leave a link in my description where you can buy them. I'm using a thin foam mat and kind of a little balling tool. I'm just going to start ruffling up the edges of my little flowers. You can also pull in towards the center of the flower just to cup them up a little bit. And then using water to assemble them. And water is going to kind of act like glue when you're assembling anything with fondant. And it'll glue everything together. Now for the bottle, I'm going to roll out a thin log of white fondant. And just cut out almost a little tube shape. Put a little piece of pink fondant and then a little more piece of pink fondant and then a little stub of white fondant for the tip of the bottle. Imprint a flower on it. Now for my baby, I'm going to dust her cheeks rosy color just using a petal dust and same with her lips. Using a brown petal dust to dust his hair on. I've cut out a white band. I'm just going to wrap that around her hair. Add a little water and then put my flower on. I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush and just add some little dots onto her headband, just a little bit extra detail. And for her diaper, I'm going to start off with a square and then cut off two of the edges, wet it with some water, and then wrap it around her. Now, this one is supposed to be kind of a princessy girl, so we don't want to just leave a plain diaper. We're going to give her a princess diaper. <laughs> so I've just cut out a long rectangle, cut that in half, and now I'm using my veining tool, and I'm just pulling really quickly towards me, and that's going to ruffle it up. You can stick that on. And I've made two just to add a little bit extra frill, kind of like a tutu. Now I've printed out this template. I do have this template available on my website. You can go to the icingrs.com and print it out for yourself. And this is going to be the big flower that my baby sits onto. Now that I've cut out my flower, I'm just going to ruffle it up. So I'm using my balling tool. I'm just going to ruffle up the edges of the petal. So I'm just going to run it along the edge and that's going to kind of ruffle it up like this. Using some tissue paper, I'm just going to stick that underneath each one of my petals and then lay that staggering across the petals. And I've cut out a second flower that I'm going to lay on top of that. After a couple days, you can remove all of the tissue and you're left with this beautiful flower. Now I can stick my baby on using some water as well as my bottle. Okay, so now that we've done our baby, let's assemble the pillow. So I've got some buttercream icing, my vanilla cake that I've dyed pink to match the kind of gender reveal theme of this. 
and I have three pounds of fondant. I have some pink fondant as well as some white fondant. So let's make the cake. So for my pillow, I'm using a 10 inch square cake. I'm just gonna add some buttercream to my cake board and then stick my cake on top of that. Add a thin layer of buttercream in between and then add my second layer. Now I'm gonna start carving it. I'm gonna carve off all of the corners of my cake and then the top edges. I'm gonna round those edges off a little bit so they're not too square and too harsh. And I'm just gonna trim the top off slightly. For the bottom, you're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna trim off the corners and then off the edges as well. And then pillows are supposed to look kind of soft and delicate and have these kind of wrinkles and ruffles where the fabric sits into. So I'm just gonna carve out some little wrinkles into my pillow so it doesn't look too artificial. You want this to look kind of realistic. And now I'm gonna give it a nice and thin crumb coat just to trap in all of my crumbs before I cover it in fondant. I'm using a Kirkland brand paper towel and I'm just gonna rub it over my cake and then peel up the paper towel and that's gonna leave it nice and smooth. And now we're ready to cover our cake in fondant. So for the bottom half of the pillow, I'm using white fondant. So I'm just gonna roll it out. I'm gonna roll this out in a very long strip and then just cut it into a long rectangle. And that's so you have nice clean edges. Wet it with some water and then just stick it on my cake like this. I'm using a fondant smoother. I'm just gonna smooth that out so I don't have any creases or lines. I'm gonna trim off the excess on an angle going down the corner of the pillow and then add my other pieces just the same as I did that one. Now for the top of my pillow, I've decided to use pink fondant. So I'm just gonna roll that out, roll it over my rolling pin, and then roll that back onto my cake. I'm gonna smooth that out a bit. Don't worry about the creases right now because we can add those in afterwards, but you just wanna make sure it's nice and smooth and stuck to your cake. I'm gonna trim off the excess up to the middle line where the white meets the pink. And then using a piece of fondant, I'm now gonna create all those creases and soft lines in my pillow. And you can add in a couple extra if you'd like. And now we're ready to connect both our pink half and our white half. So I'm just gonna roll a thin log of white fondant and fold that in half, hold the one end, and I'm just gonna roll my other hand towards it like this, and that's gonna create this really nice kind of effect. And then you can add that onto your cake. And I'm gonna do mine in sections, just one side at a time until you're done all four sides. To connect them, I wanted to make these little white buttons. So I've rolled out a little ball of white fondant. I'm just gonna flatten and stick that onto each corner. And now to stick my baby on top, I'm just gonna gently slide that onto my pillow and she's just gonna sit delicately just like that. And this is what your cake's gonna look like when it's all done, a beautiful delicate flower on top of a pillow with your beautiful little baby girl. Well, there's my baby on a flat or on a pillow. I hope you guys really like it. I think she's beautiful. I think she's like a delicate little baby princess. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today and watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I put out new cake decorating videos every single week. So you head on over to my channel. I've got lots of videos, all different kinds of stuff. And don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button underneath me so you guys don't miss a video. And don't forget to head on over to Woodland Bakery's channel because she's got lots of fun stuff in store for you. I'll leave a link after this. Click here now to see how Gretchen made her gender reveal cake. And you're definitely going to want to check out her channel because she has the best recipes over there. Thank you guys again so much for watching and joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe and you can click here for last week's video.